I'm in it. You know, 38 years old and I'm covered in scars. You know, and that's, I don't know if you can see my ducks and chickens or whatever makes some noise. But, um, like I said, every day I, you know, I feel it. If I pull up to McDonald's and reach to the window to hand my money to the cashier, I see him look right at my scars. And I'm like, wow, this, man, what the hell happened to this guy? Or, and, and I see um, cutters, you know, I can spot them a mile away. You know, I know how, what the scars of a cutter look like, you know, and I sympathize for that type, you know, that person. People may think I'm crazy that I'm putting my life stories, you know, uh, suicide and alcoholism and now cutting on uh, YouTube. This is actually to help me and if I can help family members, um, you know, some of my family may not agree with it, but hey, it's my life my recovery this is helping me so um for the ones that don't agree with me or tell you know which i haven't come across that yet and i'm sure i will you know it's my business I, you know i can tell the whole world what a piece of shit i've been and uh you know but anyways um like i said you can see you know, scars out the wazoo so I deal with depression I deal with uh, recovery I deal with losses of suicide I deal with the fact that I you know I'm labeled as a, a cutter even through the courts you know um, that's a label that I'll always have and I can't hide it because when it's hot I'm not gonna walk around with a long sleeve shirt and you know to say I'm ashamed of my cuts, I'm not a I'm not ashamed of them. It's something that I felt that I couldn't control at the time when you're emotionally broke down, and you have um, the alcohol, which you know takes away a lot of logic. You know, you're not, you're not thinking properly, you care less. You know, um, but as a young child, that's not under the influence and is cutting that's that's alarming it's very alarming it's bad enough you know when somebody's drunk and not thinking properly or straight you know cutting themselves and crying and thinking you know I'm a total worthless piece of crap you know like I say encourage your family member always have their back do not make them feel small boost them have their interest their best interest at heart Make phone calls, do your research, find help for that individual. Keep an eye on their skin, keep an eye on, you know, mood swings, changes, they lock themselves in the door, things, you know, even if you have to hide the knives, but, you know, you can, you can try hiding the knives thing, it doesn't work, because you can break a piece of plastic and cut yourself. If that cutter is determined to cut themselves at that moment, it doesn't matter. You're gonna, they're gonna find something. But it's um, addressing the problem, finding, even the, you know, finding out what's what's causing this person to be so distraught. And, you know, it could be bullies at school. You know, if if your your kid comes home from school all the time and you ask how was school, well, it was okay. You know, and check into it. You know. And bullies, you know, that's another topic I'll hit, too. That just popped in my head. You know, the the dangers, of, you know, of being bullied. But that'll be another video. But um, you, I'm sure, you, you know, people, they love their family members. They love their children. Don't blow it off. And don't think your child is a freak. And don't you ever say that. You know, you're crazy, you're a freak, look at you, you know, what the hell's wrong with you, you're mentally insane. You know, there's an issue there. So, and for you out there uh, that come across this video, and you are a cutter, ask for help. You know, there are programs out there that, you know, there's, there's groups for everybody. And um, don't think you're the only one. You know, wondering why am I cutting myself? Why does this, for some reason, release pain? Why, you know, why do I have this urge when I'm upset? 
to cut myself. Don't think you're crazy. You're not crazy. Trust me. You're you're in a lot of pain emotionally. That's the worst pain. I'd rather have two broken arms than have emotional pain or depression any day. But that's something you battle through. And you know, when you lose all hope, like I had lost all hope of um, ever getting my daughter back. Once I got that hope back and I found out that it was real, you know, I had no reason to cut myself. You know, I had no reason, you know, to touch another drop of alcohol. So that's one of the reasons why I, I fell off the wagon again. That's, you know, another topic is, you know, losing my daughter to the system again the second time. So, but if you're a cutter, you're not crazy. You know, if you've gone long periods, don't think that that urge may come, not come back. Because something might take the wind right out of your sails and like you said, a punch in the stomach and first thing that's gonna pop in your head is, you know, you know, almost like a robot and you're just gonna go and make small little nicks on your body. But I tell you what, they add up. You know, you don't wanna walk around with scars. You know, it's, it's hard enough to walk around with emotional scars, but physical scars, you know, people staring at you and looking at you, what's wrong, you know. But anyways, I hope the best for anybody that, you know, that's suffering. And um, that's why these videos, I'm going to continue to do them. And if you do subscribe, I don't have many subscribers, but when you see a bunch of videos pop up, it's because I'm new to this. And when something pops in my head, like I said, this morning, getting dressed, like I see every day, my arms. I was like, oh, well, you know what? That's a serious topic. Somebody out there, you know, a lot of people out there, many people, you know, going through, going through it right now. As we speak, there is a child, there is somebody right now on this earth, crying in the dark, cutting themselves. So, it's serious, and it's not for attention. Is it a cry for help? Sometimes. Is it? their coping mechanism absolutely but can't encourage it you got to stop it they need help so anyways thank you for taking time to watch this video um if you know somebody going through this please share this video with them um you all have a good day be safe later